Brought to you by WikiVD Documentaries. Thailand. Thailand, officially the Kingdom of Thailand, formerly known as Siam, is a country at the center of the Indo-Chinese Peninsula in Southeast Asia. With a total area of approximately, Thailand is the world's 50th largest country. It is the 20th most populous country in the world, with around 66 million people. Thailand is a constitutional monarchy and has switched between parliamentary democracy and military junta for decades, the latest coup being in May 2014 by the National Council for Peace and Order. Its capital and most populous city is Bangkok. It is bordered to the north by Myanmar and Laos, to the east by Laos and Cambodia, to the south by the Gulf of Thailand and Malaysia, and to the west by the Andaman Sea and the southern extremity of Myanmar. Its maritime boundaries include Vietnam in the Gulf of Thailand to the southeast, and Indonesia, and India on the Andaman Sea to the southwest. The Thai economy is the world's 20th largest by GDP at PPP and the 27th largest by nominal GDP. It became a newly industrialized country and a major exporter in the 1990s. Manufacturing, agriculture, and tourism are leading sectors of the economy. It is considered a middle power in the region and around the world. Etymology of Siam The country has always been called Muang Thai by its citizens by outsiders prior to 1949. It was usually known by the exonym Siam. The word Siam has been identified with the Sanskrit Yama. The names Shan and Ahom seem to be variants of the same word. The word Yama is possibly not its origin, but a learned and artificial distortion. Another theory is the name derives from Chinese. Ayutthaya emerged as a dominant center in the late 14th century. The Chinese called this region Xi'an, which the Portuguese converted into Siam. A further possibility is that Mon-speaking peoples migrating south called themselves Syem, as do the autochthonous Mon-Khmer-speaking inhabitants of the Malay Peninsula. The signature of King Mongkut reads SPPM Mongkut King of the Siamese, giving the name Siam. Official status until 24 June 1939 when it was changed to Thailand. Thailand was renamed Siam. From 1945 to the 11th of May 1949, after which it again reverted to Thailand. Etymology of Thailand According to George Coides, the word Thai means free man in the Thai language. Differentiating the Thai from the natives encompassed in Thai society as serfs. A famous Thai scholar argued that Thai simply means people or human being. Since his investigation shows that in some rural areas the word Thai was used instead of the usual Thai word Khan for people. While Thai people will often refer to their country using the polite form Prithet Thai, they most commonly use the more colloquial term Muang Thai or simply Thai. The word Muang, archaically a city-state, commonly used to refer to a city or town as the center of a region. Ratcharanachak Thai means Kingdom of Thailand or Kingdom of Thai. Etymologically, its components are Ratcha Anachak. The Thai national anthem, written by Luang Saranupraphan during the extremely patriotic 1930s, refers to the Thai nation as Prithet Thai. The first line of the national anthem is Prithet Thai Ruam Luar Ten Uea Chat Chuea Thai. Thailand is the unity of Thai flesh and blood. History there is evidence of human habitation in Thailand that has been dated at 40,000 years before the present, with stone artifacts dated to this period. At Tham Lod Rock Shelter in Mae Hong Sun, 
similar to other regions in Southeast Asia. Thailand was heavily influenced by the culture and religions of India, starting with the Kingdom of Fun and around the 1st century CE to the Khmer Empire. Thailand in its earliest days was under the rule of the Khmer Empire, which had strong Hindu roots, and the influence among Thais remains even today. Indian influence on Thai culture was partly the result of direct contact with Indian settlers, but mainly it was brought about indirectly via the Indianized kingdoms of Varavati, Srivijaya, and Cambodia. E.A. A. Vorch believes that Buddhism must have been flowing into Siam from India in the time of the Indian Emperor Ashoka of the Maurya Empire and far on into the first millennium after Christ. Later Thailand was influenced by the South Indian Pallava dynasty and North Indian Gupta Empire. According to George Coedes, the Thai first enter history of Father India in the 11th century, with the mention of Siam slaves are prisoners of war in Champa epigraphy, and in the 12th century, the bas reliefs of Angkor Wat where a group of warriors are described as Siam. Additionally, the Mongols, after the seizure of Tali on January 7, 1253, and the pacification of Yunnan in 1257, did not look with disfavor on the creation of a series of Thai principalities at the expense of the old Indianized kingdoms. The Menem Basin was originally populated by the Mons, and the location of Varavati in the 7th century, followed by the Khmer Empire in the 11th. The history of the Yuan mentions an embassy from the Kingdom of Su Kortai in 1282. In 1287, three Thai chiefs, Mangrai, Ngam Mu Yang, and Ram Kawang formed a strong pact of friendship. After the fall of the Khmer Empire in the 13th century, various states thrived there, established by the various Thai peoples, Mons, Khmers, Chams and ethnic Malays, as seen through the numerous archaeological sites and artifacts that are scattered throughout the Siamese landscape. Prior to the 12th century, however, the first Thai Siamese state is traditionally considered to be the Buddhist Su Thai Kingdom, which was founded in 1238. Following the decline and fall of the Khmer Empire in the 13th-15th century, the Buddhist Thai kingdoms of Su Thai, Lana, and Lanzang were on the rise. However, a century later, the power of Su Thai was overshadowed by the new kingdom of Ayutthaya. Established in the mid 14th century in the lower Chao Phraya River Amenem area. Ayutthaya's expansion centered along the Menem, while in the northern valleys the Lana Kingdom and other small Thai city states ruled the area. In 1431, the Khmer abandoned Angkor after Ayutthaya forces invaded the city. Thailand retained a tradition of trade with its neighboring states, from China to India, Persia, and Arab lands. Ayutthaya became one of the most vibrant trading centers in Asia. European traders arrived in the early 16th century, beginning with the envoy of Portuguese Duke Afonso de Albuquerque in 1511, followed by the French, Dutch, and English. The Burmese-Siamese War left Ayutthaya burned and sacked by King Shunbiush and Kambom. After the fall of Ayutthaya in 1767 to the Burmese, Taksin moved the capital to Thonburi for approximately 15 years. The current Ratanakosan era of Thai history began in 1782 following the establishment of Bangkok as capital of the Chakri dynasty under King Rama I the Great. According to the Encyclopedia Britannica, a quarter to a third of the population of some areas of Thailand and Burma were slaves in the 17th through the 19th centuries. 20th century Despite European pressure, Thailand is the only Southeast Asian nation to never have been colonized. 
This has been ascribed to the long succession of able rulers in the past four centuries who exploited the rivalry and tension between the French and British Empire. In 1896, Britain and France guaranteed of the Chao Phraya Valley as their buffer state, while the remaining parts of Southeast Asia were colonized by the Western powers. Western influence nevertheless led to many reforms in the 19th century and major concessions, most notably the loss of a large territory on the east side of the Mekong to the French, and the step-by-step -step absorption by Britain of the Shan and Karen people areas and Malay Peninsula. As part of the concessions which the Chakri dynasty offered to the British Empire in return for their support, Siam ceded four predominantly ethnic Malay southern provinces to the British Empire in the Anglo-Siamese Treaty of 1909. These four provinces would later become Malaysia's four northern states. In 1917, Siam joined the Allies of World War I and is counted as one of the victors of World War I. The Bloodless Revolution took place in 1932 carried out by the Khanna Ratsad and group of military and civilian officials resulted in a transition of power when King Prajadipok was forced to grant the people of Siam their first constitution, thereby ending centuries of absolute monarchy. In 1939, the name of the kingdom, Siam, was changed to Thailand. World War II During World War II, the Empire of Japan demanded the right to move troops across Thailand to the Malayan frontier. The Japanese invasion on 8 December 1941 occurred in coordination with attacks throughout Asia and engaged the Royal Thai Army for six to eight hours before Plak Phubun Song Kram ordered an armistice. Shortly thereafter, Japan was granted free passage, and on 21 December 1941, Thailand and Japan signed a military alliance with a secret protocol, wherein Tokyo agreed to help Thailand regain territories lost to the British and French. Subsequently, Thailand declared war on the United States and the United Kingdom on 25 January 1942, and undertook to assist Japan in its war against the Allies, while at the same time maintaining an active anti-Japanese free Thai movement. Approximately 200,000 Asian laborers and 60,000 Allied prisoners of war worked on the Burma Railway, which is commonly known as the Death Railway. Modern History the history of Thailand from 1932 to 1973 was dominated by military dictatorships which were in power for much of the period. The main personalities of the period were the dictator Luang Phabun Song Kram, who allied the country with Japan during the Second World War, and the civilian politician Pridi Phano Myong, who founded Thamazar University and was briefly the Prime Minister after the war. A succession of military dictators followed Pridis Ousting, Fibon again, Sarat Dhanaradatta, and Thanong Kitty Kachorn, under whom traditional, authoritarian rule was combined. With increasing modernization and westernization under the influence of the US, the end of the period was marked by Thanim's resignation, Following a massacre of pro-democracy protesters led by Thamazar students, Than Om misread the situation as a coup d'état and fled, leaving the country leaderless. Hun appointed Thamazar University Chancellor Sanyadharmasak TPM by royal command. Thailand helped the USA in South Vietnam in the Vietnam War between 1965-1971. The USAF-based F-4 Phantom fighters at Udon and Ubon Air Base, and stationed B-52s at Utapau. 
Thai forces also saw heavy action in the Covet War in Laos that occurred from 1964 to 1972. In 1973, there was a popular uprising which resulted in the end of the ruling military dictatorship of anti-communist Thanom Kitty Kachorn and altered the Thai political system. Notably, it highlighted the growing influence of Thai university students in politics. For most of the 1980s, Thailand was ruled by Prime Minister Prem Tin Shilananda, a democratically inclined strongman who restored parliamentary politics. Thereafter the country remained a democracy apart from a brief period of military rule from 1991 to 1992. The populist Thai Rak Thai Party, led by Prime Minister Taksin Shinawat, governed from 2001 until 2006. In 2006 mass protests against the Thai Rak Thai Party's alleged corruption prompted the military to stage a coup d'acute TAT in September. A general election in December 2007 restored a civilian government. But in May 2014 another military coup returned the absolute power to the army. Politics and Government The politics of Thailand is currently conducted within the framework of a constitutional monarchy, whereby the Prime Minister is the head of government, and a hereditary monarch is head of state. The judiciary is supposed to be independent of the executive and the legislative branches. Although judicial rulings are suspected of being based on political considerations rather than on existing law, since the political reform of the absolute monarchy in 1932, Thailand has had 19 constitutions and charters. Throughout this time, the form of government has ranged from military dictatorship to electoral democracy. But all governments have acknowledged a hereditary monarch as the head of state. Prior to 1932, the Kingdom of Siam did not possess a legislature, as all legislative powers were vested in the person of the monarch. This had been the case since the foundation of the Su Thai Kingdom in the 12th century as the king was seen as a Dharma Raja or king who rules in accordance with Dharma. However, on 24 June 1932 a group of civilians and military officers calling themselves the Kanarat Sadan carried out a bloodless revolution in which the 150 years of absolute rule of the Chakri dynasty ended. In its stead the group advocated a constitutional form of monarchy with an elected legislature. The draft constitution of 1932 signed by King Prajadipok created Thailand's first legislature, a People's Assembly. With 70 appointed members, the assembly met for the first time on 28 June 1932 in the Ananta Samakon Throne Hall. The Kanarat Sadan decided that the people were not yet ready for an elected assembly. They later changed their minds. By the time the permanent constitution came into force in December of that year, elections were scheduled for 15 November 1933. The new constitution changed the composition of the assembly to 78 directly elected and 78 appointed, together totaling 156 members. Since May 2014 Thailand has been ruled by a military junta, the National Council for Peace and Order, which has partially repealed the 2007 constitution, declared martial law a nationwide curfew, banned political gatherings, arrested and detained politicians, and anti-coup activists imposed internet censorship and taken control of the media. The King of Thailand, King Bajiralongkorn, is the current monarch, reigning since the death of his father Pumipon Aduliadev on 13 October 2016. In actuality he has only exercised the role of monarch since 1 December 2016. The constitution stipulates that although the sovereignty of the state is vested in the people, 
the king will exercise such powers through the three branches of the Thai government. Under the constitution the king is given very little power, but remains a figurehead and symbol of the Thai nation. As the head of state, however, he is given some powers and has a role to play in the workings of government. According to the constitution, the king is head of the armed forces. He is required to be Buddhist as well as the defender of all faiths in the country. The king also retained some traditional powers such as the power to appoint his heirs, the power to grant pardons, and the royal assent. The king is aided in his duties by the Privy Council of Thailand. Administrative Divisions Thailand is divided into 76 provinces, which are gathered into five groups of provinces. By location, there are also two specially governed districts, the capital Bangkok and Pattaya. Bangkok is at provincial level and thus often counted as a province. Each province is divided into districts, and the districts are further divided into sub-districts. There were 877 districts and the 50 districts of Bangkok. Some parts of the provinces bordering Bangkok are also referred to as Greater Bangkok. These provinces include Non Naburi, Patham Thani, Samut Prakan, Nakhorn Patham, and Samut Sakhorn. The name of each province's capital city is the same as that of the province. For example, the capital of Chiang Mai province is Muang Chiang Mai or Chiang Mai. Regions Thai provinces are administrated by regions, the regions that Thailand usually uses. To division the provinces is four region division system. It divides the country into the four regions, Northern Thailand, Northeastern Thailand, Central Thailand and Southern Thailand. In each region has its own different historical background, culture, language and people. Thai local people in the four regions ideally admire the administration of the regions based on administrative divisions in Germany and British devolved administrations such as Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland, in contrast to the administrative divisions of the provinces of Thailand. Thailand is unitary state, the provincial governors, districts, chiefs, and district clerks are appointed by the central government. The regions no longer have an administrative character, but are used for geographical, statistical, geological, meteorological or touristic purposes. Southern Region Thailand controlled the Malay Peninsula as far south as Malacca in the 15th century and held much of the peninsula, including Tamasek, some of the Andaman Islands, and a colony on Java, but eventually contracted when the British used force to guarantee their suzerainty over the Sultanate. Mostly the northern states of the Malay Sultanate presented annual gifts to the Thai king in the form of a golden flower, a gesture of tribute, and an acknowledgement of vassalage. The British intervened in the Malay state and, with the Anglo-Siamese treaty tried to build a railway from the south to Bangkok. Thailand relinquished sovereignty over what are now the northern Malay provinces of Kedah, Perlis, Kelantan, and Terengganu to the British. Satin and Patani provinces were given to Thailand. The Malay Peninsula provinces were occupied by the Japanese during World War II, and infiltrated by the Malayan Communist Party from 1942 to 2008 when they sued for peace with the Malaysian and Thai governments after the CPM lost its support from Vietnam and China subsequent to the Cultural Revolution. Recent insurgent uprisings may be a continuation of separatist fighting which started after World War II with Sukarno's support for the Pulo. Most victims since the uprisings have been Buddhist and Muslim bystanders. Foreign Relations 
the foreign relations of Thailand are handled by the Minister of Foreign Affairs. Thailand participates fully in international and regional organizations. It is a major non-NATO ally and priority watch list special 301 report of the United States. The country remains an active member of ASEAN Association of Southeast Asian Nations. Thailand has developed increasingly close ties with other ASEAN members, Indonesia, Malaysia, the Philippines, Singapore, Brunei, Laos, Cambodia, Myanmar, and Vietnam, whose foreign and economic ministers hold annual meetings. Regional cooperation is progressing in economic, trade, banking, political, and cultural matters. In 2003, Thailand served as APEC host. Dr. Supachari Panich Pakdi, the former Deputy Prime Minister of Thailand, currently serves as Secretary General of the United Nations Conference on Trade and Development. In 2005, Thailand attended the inaugural East Asia Summit. In recent years, Thailand has taken an increasingly active role on the international stage. When East Timor gained independence from Indonesia, Thailand, for the first time in its history, contributed troops to the international peacekeeping effort. Its troops remain there today as part of a UN peacekeeping force. As part of its effort to increase international ties, Thailand has reached out to such regional organizations as the Organization of American States and the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe. Thailand has contributed troops to reconstruction efforts in Afghanistan and Iraq. Taxton initiated negotiations for several free trade agreements with China, Australia, Bahrain, India, and the US. The latter especially was criticized, with claims that uncompetitive Thai industries could be wiped out. Taksin also announced that Thailand would forsake foreign aid and work with donor countries to assist in the development of neighbors in the greater Mekong subregion. Taksin sought to position Thailand as a regional leader, initiating various development projects in poorer neighboring countries like Laos. More controversially, he established close, friendly ties with the Burmese dictatorship. Thailand joined the US-led invasion of Iraq, sending a 423-strong humanitarian contingent. It withdrew its troops on 10 September 2004. Two Thai soldiers died in Iraq in an insurgent attack. Abbasid appointed People's Alliance for Democracy leader Kasip Piramir as foreign minister. In April 2009, fighting broke out between Thai and Cambodian troops on territory immediately adjacent to the 900-year-old ruins of Cambodia's Priya Vihir Hindu temple near the border. The Cambodian government claimed its army had killed at least four Thais and captured ten more. Although the Thai government denied that any Thai soldiers were killed or injured, two Cambodian and three Thai soldiers were killed. Both armies blamed the other for firing first and denied entering the other's territory. Armed Forces The Royal Thai Armed Forces, the Royal Thai Navy, and the Royal Thai Air Force. It also incorporates various paramilitary forces. The Thai Armed Forces have a combined manpower of 306,000 active duty personnel and another 245,000 active reserve personnel. The head of the Thai Armed Forces is the King, although this position is only nominal. The Armed Forces are managed by the Ministry of Defense of Thailand, which is headed by the Minister of Defense and commanded by the Royal Thai Armed Forces Headquarters, which in turn is headed by the Chief of Defense Forces of Thailand. In 2011, Thailand's known military expenditure totaled approximately $5.1 billion, according 
to the Constitution, serving in the armed forces is a duty of all Thai citizens. However, only males over the age of 21, who have not gone through reserve training of the Army Reserve Force students, are given the option of volunteering for the armed forces, or participating in the random draft. The candidates are subjected to varying lengths of training, from six months to two years of full-time service, depending on their education, whether they have partially completed the reserve training course, and whether they volunteered prior to the draft date. Candidates with a recognized bachelor's degree serve one year of full-time service if they're conscripted, or six months if they volunteer at their district office. Likewise, the training length is also reduced for those who have partially completed the three-year reserve training course. A person who completed one year out of three will only have to serve full-time for one year. Those who completed two years of reserve training will only have to do six months of full-time training, while those who complete three years or more of reserve training will be exempted entirely. Royal Thai Armed Forces Day is celebrated on the 18th of January, commemorating the victory of Nareshuin of the Ayutthaya Kingdom in battle against the Crown Prince of the Taungu Dynasty in 1593. Geography Totaling, Thailand is the world's 50th largest country by total area. It is slightly smaller than Yemen and slightly larger than Spain. Thailand comprises several distinct geographic regions, partly corresponding to the provincial groups. The north of the country is the mountainous area of the Thai highlands, with the highest point being Doi and Thanon in the Thanon Thong Chai range at above sea level. The northeast, Isan, consists of the Korat Plateau, bordered to the east by the Mekong River. The center of the country is dominated by the predominantly flat Chao Phraya River Valley, which runs into the Gulf of Thailand. Southern Thailand consists of the narrow Kararismus that widens into the Malay Peninsula. Politically, there are six geographical regions which differ from the others in population, basic resources, natural features, and level of social and economic development. The diversity of the regions is the most pronounced attribute of Thailand's physical setting. The Chao Phraya and the Mekong River are the indispensable watercourses of rural Thailand. Industrial scale production of crops use both rivers and their tributaries. The Gulf of Thailand covers and is fed by the Chao Phraya, Mekong, Bang Pakong, and Tapi rivers. It contributes to the tourism sector owing to its clear shallow waters along the coasts in the southern region and the Krarismus. The eastern shore of the Gulf of Thailand is an industrial center of Thailand, with the kingdom's premier deep water port in Satahip and its busiest commercial port, Laem Shabang. The Andaman Sea is a precious natural resource as it hosts the most popular and luxurious resorts in Asia, Phuket, Krabi, Ranong, Phang Naran Trang, and their islands, all lay along the coasts of the Andaman Sea and, despite the 2004 tsunami, they are a tourist magnet for visitors from around the world. Plans have resurfaced for a canal which would connect the Andaman Sea to the Gulf of Thailand, analogous to the Suez and the Panama Canals. The idea has been greeted positively by Thai politicians as it would cut fees charged by the ports of Singapore, improve ties with China and India, lower shipping times, and eliminate pirate attacks in the Strait of Malacca, and support the Thai government's policy of being the logistical hub for Southeast Asia. The canal, it is claimed, would improve economic conditions in the south of Thailand which relies heavily on tourism income, and it would also change the structure of the Thai economy by making it an Asia logistical hub. The canal would be a major engineering project, 
and has an expected cost of $20.30 billion. Thank you for watching. Brought to you by WikiVD Documentaries. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.